We've been hearing about the Starship Super Heavy for years now, and how soon SpaceX will finally launch it. You may be wondering when this day will come. But recently, SpaceX's Starship program encountered a setback after a test ended in a fiery explosion at its development facility in Texas. What do you think would have caused the explosion? Is the explosion the only problem delaying the launch? Stay till the end to find out what Elon Musk said about the explosion and other causes delaying the launch. As we all know, the rocket ship is one of the most well-known rockets in the world. Mostly because it's not only huge, but also because it's fully reusable and can be used for long-distance flights such as Mars and beyond. The fact that it exists opens the possibility that we might find another planet to call home. So it's no surprise that the world is waiting for its launch. The time is now, as we've recently learned that SpaceX is about to launch the rocket soon. The rocket, as we know, was first shown to the public back in 2016. According to reports, test flights of the rocket were expected to start in 2020. But what caused such a big delay, as we can guess, is the global shutdown which came at its strongest in 2020. Due to the pandemic, many businesses and workplaces closed down, and as a result, all plans related to the Starship were put on hold as SpaceX had to adhere to the social distancing rules, so this caused a big delay in the proceedings. That isn't all. A design change also caused a delay in the production of the Starship. When Elon Musk made the unexpected decision to switch the carbon fiber composite airframe of the rocket to stainless steel, it resulted in a delay. Musk had to sacrifice years of development and work on the Starship structures because although carbon fiber composite is lighter, it's very expensive, and it isn't easy to manufacture such big parts. In comparison, although stainless steel is heavy, it's very cheap and results in quick production. This part is something Musk was looking for while developing the Starship. While this has caused delays, it's still been progressing at a decent pace. And given the circumstances, no one expected that things would be at the stage they are now in 2022. So how is SpaceX going to launch Starship Super Heavy? Well, as mentioned, it was really hard for SpaceX to quickly get things done considering the delays they faced while Musk was essentially saying the same thing last year. The CEO now thinks SpaceX Texas's first successful orbital Starship launch attempt could happen as early as next month, which would be January 2023. But folks, this is just an attempt, like a trial, to test whether the Starship could function properly. The main launch that would take the Starship to its planned destination must wait. In August, Musk said that SpaceX's first successful orbital Starship launch will probably be between 1 and 12 months from now, so we'll have to wait a bit. This news is good, considering the world has been waiting for years for the Starship to launch. Most are optimistic about the launch. The world thinks the same too, as SpaceX and Elon Musk have done the impossible countless times. In light of this late launch, SpaceX has been testing the Starship non-stop to perfect everything before the launch. The test was being conducted using a prototype version of the Super Heavy booster the space company is developing, designed to provide the extra lift needed to get the Starship to orbit and beyond. This booster prototype has 33 of SpaceX's large Raptor engines on board, and this test was specifically designed to spin up the engines for a preview of what the startup sequence would look like before an actual launch. Also, SpaceX briefly activated the 33 Raptor engines during the static fire test. These Raptor engines are extremely powerful, and if SpaceX somehow manages to activate all 33 of these engines, the Starship could generate power like no other machine in the world. However, a booster rocket built to launch this Starship spacecraft went up in flames after an explosion during the test. NASA spaceflight got footage of the fireball that resulted from the test gone wrong, which caused a fire on the launch pad that was subsequently extinguished with no injuries reported. Before the test, Musk didn't have the same optimism as the rest of the world. His tweet from August suggests that he wouldn't be surprised if it took SpaceX a year and several tries to launch Starship for the first time into orbit successfully. Let's look at his words from another angle. It's even conceivable to read his tweet as a caution 
that it might take up to a year before Starship makes its first successful orbital launch. Likely, Starship will successfully launch into orbit for the first time sometime in the middle of next year, which may be between four and eight months. And so after the test, Musk first tweeted that the disastrous test had ended in a way to be expected. But that tweet was quickly deleted, and Musk instead acknowledged that it was not good. The SpaceX billionaire said on Twitter that his team was assessing the damage and that the launch pad at Starbase, Boca Chica, Texas, was temporarily closed for safety reasons. Depending on the damage, the highly anticipated orbital test flight of the Starship system could be delayed. Musk had hoped it would take place this month. A fireball at the base of Booster 7 was caught on camera and became a wave. Although SpaceX's high-altitude Starship test created an explosion, there are more problems than the explosion. According to The Verge, the Starship SN8 launch violated the terms of the company's FAA test license, thereby leading to an official investigation. Although it wasn't clear what the spacecraft firm did wrong, it reportedly led to the delay of the launch of its SN9 prototype. A spokesman from the agency confirmed that the space company had applied for re-modification of its license but wouldn't budge on rules. He further said the FAA wouldn't compromise its responsibility to protect public safety. The agency confirmed that the modification would only be approved after SpaceX took the necessary steps to comply with regulatory requirements. However, Musk is unhappy about the whole situation. He even accused the FAA of having a broken approach to regulating spaceflight meant for a few non-reusable launches from the government's pad. He suggested that SpaceX's goals for rapid, privately launched reusable rockets were ahead of an outdated FAA approach. The FAA was right about its priority, which is public safety. There has been a considerable amount of SpaceX's Starship launches that have gone wrong. SpaceX's SN1 prototype burst during testing in 2020 at the development facility in Boca Chica. At the time, it was undergoing a nitrogen pressure test. The middle section of the prototype buckled, then swung upward before smashing onto the ground. Although SpaceX's SN2 test went well, the SN3 cryogenic pressure test didn't go as planned. The Starship SN3 prototype tank collapsed when trying to show that it could withstand the high pressure of very cold fuel that is loaded ahead of launch. The next one, the Starship SN4, also went down with a fiery explosion after a rocket engine test. The considerable failure happened only a minute after a short test on its Raptor engine, but immediately after the explosion, it was unclear what caused the conflagration. The Starship SN4 was the longest-lived and most tested Starship prototype at the time. It survived five static fire engine tests before finally exploding. It didn't end there. There were more and more failed tests. However, just like the past explosions, Musk kept saying the company keeps learning from each test and forging ahead. We could see this as Musk's ambition, but these failed launches have harmful effects. Although there aren't any casualties recorded, the flame from the explosion contaminates the air and oxygen we breathe. Despite these failed tests, which resulted in explosions, scientists are still optimistic about the Starship and accelerating space exploration. No wonder some scientists who manage robotic space missions are starting to take a look at Musk's monster rocket. Jennifer Heldman is a NASA scientist who thinks the Starship could land on the moon, fill its hold with lunar ice that would be kept chilled, and then return to Earth for scientists to study. This spacecraft would help the researchers discover how habitation on the moon would be. Also, Daniel Baker, who's a director of the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at the University of Colorado, suggests that Starship could go with a probe to Mercury, a tough planet to reach due to the need for extra fuel and shielding against the sun. Although Starship could send a massive probe into interstellar space, passing by some of the outer planets in the way the Voyager probes did, the massive rocket could also launch space-based telescopes that would dwarf the Hubble and the James Webb. SpaceX's Starship has so many aims to achieve, including reaching the unreachable. Scientists are looking forward to its launch, which will aid research. However, 
SpaceX cannot ignore the spacecraft's problems as the prototype explodes during test runs.